Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of Tank Talks Movies. In this particular episode, we'll be talking about Man of Steel. In this movie, it's that we start out on Krypton with uh, Russell Crowe's character, and he's pretty much Superman's dad, Joel, Joel, Joel. Joel? I don't know. I can't really pronounce his name very well. Well, the mom's name is Laura, so... Yeah. General Zod shows up, and... He pretty much... No, he's just a dick. He's a real dick, you know. Because he knows Krypton's fucked. But so does uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe knows that Krypton's fucked. So, Russell Crowe and his wife had a natural birth on, on uh, Cybertron. I mean, Cybertron. <laughs> Cybertron. Yeah, they had a natural birth on Cybertron. Um, Krypton. On Krypton. They, um, Kyle that is Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. And they're putting him in a ship and they shoot him off into into space and he comes to Earth. Or pretty much going to Earth, I should say. He ends, they end up fight Russell Crowe, Joel, 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 I don't know. And Zod end up fighting. Zod gets the upper hand, kills Russell Crowe. They banned Zod and his, like, people into a, uh, the Phantom Zone, pretty much. And, you know, we cut to modern time. We have Clark Kent on an episode of Deadliest Catch. He almost gets crushed by a big old cage thing that they a crab cage pretty much and we get then we cut to them as a kid him as a kid he's on the school of, no wait no he's not not that yet all of a sudden where they're they're at school the teacher asks him a question he's kind of freaking out because x-ray vision is actually kicking in. So he's seeing his fellow classmates, skeletons, muscle line, all that stuff. And so he just pretty much bolts out of the room and hides in the janitor's closet. They're trying to figure out why he's all freaked out and stuff. So, they go on. Uh, his mom shows up. Martha! Yeah, Martha shows up, his mom. Martha Kent. And tries to talk young Clark, Kal-El, Kal or whatever. Clark, Superman, young Superman, down. Calms down, but he's, he, and he's got that super hearing, so he's hearing also the, the kids outside just teasing him, like, oh, he's such a freak, blah, 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 blah. And... Then, we get another, f like, future flashback, but not su modern day future, but it's still a flashback in a flashback, where he's pretty much working at a diner of some sort. Uh, it's a bar and grill, I would consider it. And a trucker comes in who's pretty much just the biggest douchebag in the world. Um, he, he ends up sexually harassing one of the waitresses, and Clark comes up and goes, Sir, you need, leave her alone, blah, 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 blah. The guy ends up pouring a pitcher on top of his head, and then chucking a can of beer at him, clonking him in the head. Clark just walks out all upset and then all of a sudden we see 
We, we see the trucker come out of the bar slash restaurant place. And he sees his truck impaled with a bunch of the wood that he was carrying. And these were like huge logs, like just top, cut the tops off the trees and cut the base. And that's what you got. He, pretty much Clark, jammed all those into his vehicle, into his semi. Now we're back to a kid, where he saves his fellow classmates and friends from drowning in a bus. Yeah. This movie's kind of wonky, but then we meet Lois Lane, where Clark is pretty much just helping out the military somewhat just but they don't know he's Superman or anything like that so Lois follows Clark into this place where into this pretty much this ship that's like under a shit ton of ice so he ends up you know active turning it on and I guess there's there's servant robots that actually are like security too. They see Lois. Lois pulls out her camera. She takes a picture. It looks like... And then the robot thing ends up shooting her. And Clark comes up, comes up and just starts... Like just smashes it. <sighs> and she, he had to cauterize his, her wound with his heat vision eyes. So, Lois is pretty much crushing on him now. Then, we get to, we get to the, well pretty much we see Russell Crowe and Clark talking. They end up, you know, he's telling them that you're different, I am your father, you know, all this stuff. You know, just telling him the origins why Krypton got destroyed and all that stuff. And, he gives him the super suit, pretty much, the Superman suit. Then, they... Now he ends up practice flying around. Lois is in deep doo-doo because she because her her like publish publisher like her boss won't let her publish what she learned out in the Antarctic. So she pretty much ends up giving it to an internet troll type person that would link it out. Then, Lois is just asking people around. She ends up asking Clark's mother. And Clark, she, she takes her, and blah, 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 takes her to John Kent's grave. And behind her is Clark. Telling her pretty much what if he doesn't want to be found, etc, etc. She just wants to get a story off of him. And then after all this silliness happens, malfun like computers go staticky, cell phones go all wonky. It's a message from Zod. Looking for Kal-El. Turn him in, blah blah this, blah blah that. He ends up does turning himself into the military. They put cuffs on him. He ends up talking to Lois Lane. And they're like handcuffed. They have him cuffed. 
and he's starting to talk to like the people through the glass thing and you know he's like I can see it I can see your you know I can see all this stuff blah 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 he ends up talking to the general he stands up and just goes like that and the helps the break they're all he said he's not his their enemy but they can't like use him as a weapon pretty much what he's saying so he says he's gonna turn himself into Zod so we meet one of uh, Zod's henchmen it's uh, she's a female like Kryptonian and they just beat well, you know, they're really respectable at first. And they take Clark and Lois up onto their ship. And they have to, she has to wear a breathing helmet type deal. Okay. Then, we, Zod meets Clark for the first time. And Clark is not used to the atmosphere onto their ship. So he just collapses and all of a sudden you see we see blood start coming from his mouth. And Lois is wanting to help him, help him. And Zod's like, we can't do anything. It is only, it needs to take its course. And that's understandable, but then, you know, we, he wakes, Zod, that was the blip. Clark wakes up pretty much on his farm, family farm. And he, him and Zod are having a conversation. And, you know, he's saying, Krypton is going to be, Earth will be the new Krypton, pretty much he's saying. And then they uh, sit down, not sit down, but... Um, he stand, looks, looks on the ground, and there's a bunch of skulls all over the place. And Zod's like, "Well, they need to start on a, a uh, foundation somehow. A new, a new, a new world needs to start on a foundation somehow." And it's just a bunch of human skeletons all around and skulls. Superman's getting drug into them or sinking into them. And he's like, no, no, no. And he wakes up. He is shackled down on this bed type deal. S then, Lois is put in this room where this, with a, li a little thing, pretty much it's a key. Puts it in the thing, and we see, uh, pretty much, uh, Clark's dad. I mean, kal -El's dad. And, they, he ends up starting to hack things on, to Z on Zod's ship, and stuff like that. He gets, he gets Lois to safety, he gets Clark, or Superman, un unlocked up. And, you know, he, they pretty much break free. Then Zod's military soldiers go down. And all of a sudden they're fighting with, you know, Clark. or They're fighting Superman right now. And the destruction. My God. And, oh my God, the pop product placement. I say, I swear we probably see the IHOP. Probably Walmart. Probably a... Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts or something. A Denny's or something like that. Um, it's just... Just the destruction. Superman doesn't destroy things very often. It depends he was fighting, though. Like when he's going up against Doomsday. In the comic book series or the television show, he ends, you know... It's Doomsday. Doomsday don't give two shits about the planet Earth. Doomsday don't give a damn about anything. Besides killing Superman. And whatever's in his way. But we're talking about General Zod here. 
they, his group are, you know, tactical. Like, you know, all that stuff. They beat, super, Superman, Clark Kent, Carl, whatever the hell you fuck you want to call him. He beats the two main, you know, got not, well, higher ups than their Zod. So it's Zod and Clark or Carl or Superman. It's again, again, I don't give a fuck what you call them. Same goddamn person. And I think the ending of their fight. Oh my god, guys. He didn't know these people. He saved these people. Okay, I understand. Superman's a hero. I know he's a hero. He doesn't even know these people, like, very closely, but it's a hero's thing. He snaps the neck of Zod. Just... <laughs> trying to can stop him, his eye beams going out. All that shit. That... Honestly, the people are dumb. It was going so slow towards them. They could have fled. My God. I'm sorry. Zack Snyder. This is an alright movie, but it's pretty shitty at the same time. <sighs> Well, this has been Tank Talks Movies. Man of Steel. And, I'm curious what's next on the list. Let's take a look. No, I can't. Anything but that. No, 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 no,